going on, everybody? Mike McFarland here. Who else did you expect, right? <laughs> um, the Lake Fork Fishing Guide right here. Feeling very humbled, though. Um, this lake boy sure has been fishing tough. It's just fishing tough. It, it's on the brink of opening up um, from one day to the next. It's just, uh, it's amazing. It's sitting in a in a window right now that I've never really seen in April. Um, it's a grind. If you're not looking at the fish, meaning looking for dead fish, it's hard to catch them. Um, there's still a lot of dead fish. There's a lot of fish paired up right now, males and females together. Um, you just, you got to cover a lot of water to find them. Um, there's also a lot of fry. There's a lot of abandoned nests. There's a lot of fish that have pulled back out. There's a lot of fish that should be finished and there should be a post spawn bite, but general consensus, um, is, is it's, it's tough. So spinner baits and, and chatter baits and square bills around some of the birds and the shad spawn is catching a few fish. Um, again, if you're not looking at them, sight fishing, it just seems to be, um, really, really tough. It's a grind that is truly, truly about to change for multiple reasons. Number one, water temperatures are getting up there higher. The fish are becoming post-spawn. A majority of them are post-spawn. The males will school back up together and start really chasing bait. I'm seeing that beginning to happen. The shad spawn's up happening. So as the shad spawn really progresses and gets in the full swing, um, that's really going to help a lot. Um, the females, again, post-spawn fish, they're going to start gorging to recover from the spawn and the weight that they lost during the spawn. And, and they dump the eggs now, so their focus is, is food and survival the rest of the year, not reproduction. And then finally here, I hope and pray that tonight the weatherman is correct. Um, but we allowed a whopper of a storm coming through again, and they're, they're predicting from up to one to two inches of rain. So before we go into what that can do, we have kind of begun to drop back. And remember, falling water pulls fish out. In the springtime, fish want to come in. They want to come in to spawn. They want to be in those nests. So falling water makes those fish nest a little bit deeper where we can't see them. A lot of fish nest where we can't see them anyways. Um, and so falling water makes a challenge. But it stabilized somewhat the last couple days. And tonight, big storm's coming. Let's hope it doesn't break up. Let's hope it doesn't go around fork. Let's hope it bombs us and gives us a couple inches of rain. Because a couple inches of rain will really bring us up a lot. It can push us. A couple inches of rain could almost bring us to full pool. It could be really close, really, really close. But the rising water will help. Another fresh bound of water um, rising is going to really bring a fish up. The clarity is so-so right now. Zero to one depends on where you are. And the temperatures again are 67 to 70. Um, so I really, really do hope I'm home safe. I hope everybody's home safe already this evening when the stuff hits. Um, it, it looks fast, maybe a few hours. Um, but it, it, it does potentially have some, some heaviness to it. And, and that is going to bring about the shallow bite again. So get your buzz baits, get your frogs. Um, it's gonna, it should fire everything up. It should really, really make a difference. Um, kind of wipe the slate clean where we've been sitting stagnant. Um, so I would love to see that happen. It's going to dirty the waters up a little bit in the backwaters. And that's okay. So three points. Think shad spawn. Think top water. Frogs, buzz baits. Popping top waters, walking top waters on the shad spawn and the birds, um, and bedfish. That's it. That's it's where you're at right now. So that's the April report. Remember that um, you're probably, by the time you watch this, it will have already happened, but I'm doing the live giveaway tonight for the members only. Um, we've got a package that's worth of over $170 that we're giving away to, to one of the lucky members tonight. Um, if you're not a lucky man, not one of the members, then you need to consider signing up. So just look in the description below this video, in the join section, join, become a Let's Talk Fishing member. Um, you won't regret it. I um, mean, there's a lot to learn there and a lot more details in the reports and things that I give and teach in the Let's Talk Fishing members category. You can also just become a basic member um, and, and you get a little bit... Not a little bit. You get a lot more detail in my reports than I give here publicly. Um, but thank you guys for all the following. Um, public channel continues to grow and we're doing well. We're getting approaching the 4,000 people. Um, and I'm grateful for that. I'm thankful for you watching. Hit the like button if you found this good. Um, the comment below if you have any questions or anything you want to ask me. If you want to come fish with me. Um, May has about three or four dates left, I think. Maybe five dates left and it's full. 
June is about half full. Um, but June, those are my favorite months. May and June are my favorite months. Offshore bite, structure bite, um, hard bottom bite, shell bed bite, jigs, shaky heads, big worms, um, groups of fish, a lot of sonar work to find the fish. You want to really learn something with me, hands on, consider booking one of those May or June dates. And that's it. So be safe tonight. Um, oh, one more thing I can tell you publicly. I don't do this. Um, but if you really want to, you really want to catch some big fish, um, and you probably would have to perfect it a little bit and, and learn a little bit of your own knacks about it, but go out and fish the night lights. Okay. When I say night lights, there is about 130 sets of underwater night lights throughout the lake on people's docks. When the lake was down low, I'm sure the people added even more, but they're fiber optic type night lights. They're green. They attract the shad and they really, in the middle of the night, at 10, 11, 12 at night, you can catch some of the biggest bass and see some monster fish that will blow your mind roaming around those lights. So do a little bit of homework, find yourself a set of lights or two that you can go out there and fish because the next two or three months, that is really, really, really a good way to catch a bunch, a whole mess of really big fish. All right. Thanks for watching. Mike McFarland giving you a public rundown for April 20th.